And now I'd like to show you live in real time how it works. And uh, please be patient in case all the logistics of being on a big network here don't, doesn't work. But let's answer a question. This is exactly uh, what it'll look like. So you enter your, your name and password. And then you'll have this dashboard that shows up how many questions you've answered. Now, we haven't answered any questions yet. So you see there's none right there. So let's, let's go ahead and answer a question. You ready? So you have three minutes now. The clock will start. So this question, uh, would you like to continue? This one will take, have a, a video. So we want to prepare you to make sure you got a good internet connection. And here you go. You have a 79-year-old female with low flow, low gradient aortic stenosis, uh, et cetera. And you can see the stroke volume, aortic valve area, mean gradient, dimensionless index. So based on those findings in the table, which of the following statements is the most appropriate uh, con conclusion for the stress hemodynamic study? Who wants to answer that question? John, Dr. Linder wants to answer. What, choose one. Choose the, are you going to pick a correct or in, what, incorrect? I wrote the question. <laughs> Hopefully you know the right answer then. Which, so so the, the answer, of course, is indeterminate. There's no increase in stroke volume with the stress. Okay, we're going to go with C, indeterminate. Submit that. Are you co very confident or somewhat confident? Uh, somewhat. I may have gotten it wrong. Okay, we're going to go with somewhat confident. I may have written it wrong. What do you do next? Oh, scroll down. Thank you. Oh, there's the other question. Is this relevant to your practice, Dr. Linder? No, I'm a researcher. All right, not relevant. Why is it not relevant? We'll type in there your researcher. Hit submit. You are correct. Yay. <laughs> uh, now you can see here, there's the critique. You, so you learn a little bit about that, why, why this clinical situation, exercise stress is intended to increase stroke volume, et cetera. And if you don't quite understand it, or if you want more material, this, this link here will take you right to the paper uh, that was used to construct the question. Okay, you want to do one more? Oh, this one has a video. 39-year-old man with history of Kawasaki's, referred to echocardiography for non-anginal chest pain, no other complaints, four-chamber view. Which of the following is likely to be present? Anybody want to answer this? Dr. Lang. The correct answer is C. Should we answer the correct answer, or should we pick a wrong answer see what happens? Okay, let's choose B. Okay, we'll choose B. How confident are you that you answered the question correctly? Yeah, so you're unsure. Is this relevant to your practice? It's very relevant. So we'll hit submit. So he would get this question back, since it was incorrect, very relevant to his practice. So there you see the incorrect answer. We tell you what the correct answer is. And again, a little explanation behind it. And there's the reference. And, that, and that's it. So I uh, hope you, you like it. Like I said, hope you have fun.